can't believe I'm about to say this, but we may have just found the first horseman. So in our last episode, the messengers have finally begun to zero in on their first potential candidate as one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, namely, in this case, the horsemen of war. We have two candidates for it. One uh, is a U.S. Senator, Senator Cindy Richards, and the second is an Afghani Prime Minister. And suddenly the story becomes very international in scope and very, very urgent in terms of our need to try and figure out which one of these two people might be the horsemen and how to stop them from breaking their seal. I think it's an assassination. Somebody up on that podium tonight is going to get shot. And we know that one is going to be a victim of an assassination attempt, we believe, and we think that one is the horseman, and so it's, it's very urgent that we figure out which is which. You know, the fact is we don't have evidence against the senator or the prime minister. It's all just suspicion. The two of them look both good and bad for it, so it's a real dilemma for our messengers to sort out which one of them is it going to be and how do we stop this from happening. I don't get it. Why don't our gifts work all the time? My question, exactly and they're still figuring out how these things work because this is the first horseman that they've actually dealt with, so they need to understand what that even means to be a horseman. It's all gonna come down to a summit that's being hosted in Houston, Texas, and there will be a lot of people present. The pressure is on the messengers to try and figure out what to do before it's too late. We need to work together if we wanna have any chance of stopping the senator or prime minister at that energy summit tonight.